All right, so guys. So today we're gonna be reviewing Saving Mr. Banks, which is, of course, the tragic murder of Donald Duck. Chewy, what'd you think? Uh, did I see the same movie as you? <laughs> Saving Mr. Banks, I am very mixed feelings about. Part of me really likes this movie just because of the history of of the like the Disney story behind it and that like seeing Tom Hanks playing Walt Disney and. Um, you know, Mary Poppins is a movie I really like, so, like, kind of a lot of the little references that they put in there, but, um, also, I don't know, I thought the movie was kind of uneven. I, I enjoyed it, but I also had problems with it. I, the more I want, the more I like it, but I, I will never love this film. <laughs> <laughs> that is actually really <laughs> That's what my parents tell me. Oh, Ryan, what did you think of this movie? It, it's, it's, it's pretty, I didn't see it. <laughs> Ryan, get off the set. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan hasn't seen the movie. Get off the set. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot he hadn't seen the movie. <laughs> okay, Mr. Banks. I always... No. Wait a minute, he works at a bank. <laughs> Vince, get off the set. <laughs> Alright. Oh, no, Vince, come back. Let Vince, me tell you what Vince thought about this. <laughs> Part of the reason why I like this movie is because I like Mary Poppins. But is that good for a movie? I don't know. Tell me. <laughs> okay. I have not seen Mary Poppins, but I understand, like, the cultural significance of it. Right. And, like, the impact it's had on cinema. But, that being said, I thought the worst part of this movie was the flashbacks to uh, her backstory. You know, that's where I feel the movie is uneven. Because it feels like they filmed two entirely different movies. And yeah. then somebody else, after the fact, received these movies and went, I gotta make this into one movie. I, I didn't mind that as much. Part, but I do think that the majority of why I liked it was because I've seen Mary Poppins. And so it's right. a cheap, like, oh, I remember that line from Mary Poppins. Right. Increased dopamine levels in brain. Right. You know, that's what the, the movie's doing. There were so some it's moments, like, does that really mean it's a good movie? Well, there, there were some moments where that worked and some moments that like didn't. Again, like the other thing I was just saying, like when they're in the office and he goes, spoonful of sugar, like, oh, ha, ha, they say that in Mary Poppins. I'm a who But he? then in the, when, they, when they say the lines that Bert says, the whole, you know, I, I feel what's to happen has happened before. That's clever, I thought. The acting was awesome. The acting was very good, and I really liked Tom Hanks as Walt Disney. I thought that. that However, was... I think at a certain point it almost attracted because maybe the reason I never will love it is because I'll never, I can't, I don't care what she does. I don't care if she cares yeah, cancer. I hated her character. I don't care if she, you know, saves dying orphans. I'll never, I hate that character from on, and it's because she does a, such a. Uh, Emma Thompson does such an awesome job of playing the character. Well, well, it's just funny because it's like, the way you describe it, I would think that she's like the main villain in this movie. Because yeah, she's the protagonist. She's but the main she's the protagonist and not the antagonist. And in right. many ways, I see her as the antagonist. She is almost the downfall of Mary Poppins' existence as a film. Leave you know away. what actually I do like about it, though, is because she is such an awful person, it brings me joy knowing that the film was made despite all her wishes. Well, okay. Does that... That speaks to, some... <laughs> that speaks to a bigger idea that I had all... with this movie, was... That the note that it ends on is, we make fantasy so that we can forgive past misdeeds and and whatnot. How would she feel about this movie? You know, like you mean Mr. Banks or Mary? How would how would P.L. Travers feel about this movie? Because I can't help but wonder what this movie would have looked like if another studio had made it. Like, yeah. how much of this was Disney just going, hey, look look at how great Disney is, you know? And I'm a big proponent. I love Disney, but like. It's that that kind of soured the movie for me. Because I know that half of it didn't happen. I mean, the big the big thing that the plot centers around, the plot of the movie is that Walt Disney is trying to convince this woman to sign the rights of Mary Poppins. When in reality, she signed it before she flew to, to Los Angeles. None of this happened. Like, the the main conflict of the movie is, is fabricated. Yeah, so, and well, that's like, kind yeah. of one of the main problems I have with, with Disney's portrayal of true stories. And my example for this, or, which or is... anyone's, but... Yeah, well, yeah, but I've seen it a lot in Disney films. Cool Runnings. Okay, so the cool whole Runnings. focus... Yes, it's a random movie to focus on, but the whole, like, point of that movie was nobody wanted the Jamaican bobsled team there. Like, none of the other teams. And they were, like, getting in fights with them, and in actuality, all of the other teams fully supported them and tried to get a Jamaican bobsled team. All the other countries wanted right. that to happen. But it's, so a, it, it's a screenwriter going, yeah. what would make this a compelling story? And as a story, I mean, okay, like, I enjoyed the story that was told. I thought that it was structured well, and it made it for an interesting movie to watch, but I don't know at what cost. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean ultimately, those questions don't contribute at least for me as much to the quality of the film i don't care like right. it's saying that's it's a I'm true story on. the only thing that brings to it is like oh that's kind of cool whether but it ultimately doesn't matter it's not beholden to who like you can't so what right. change things if it's a better story change it why not right. yeah i mean i was just if i was like 
someone whose true story was altered and everyone's yeah. opinion of me after that was affected by that, I would be like, well, that's well, that's not right. fair. Like, you're, you know, this happened. person who wrote Mary Poppins, I mean, I don't know how she was in real life. I there was no other depiction of her. I've never met P.L. Okay, Congress, that's so. what I'm saying. Now, I mean, I, I guess I'm, I was being obviously super critical, but so in the person, P.L. Towers, the character P.L. Towers in this movie... Is, is terrible. Is terrible. Right. Right, but it's just, what's the point? I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to see any movie ever again. <laughs> it, okay, on its own, it was a good movie. I think we can all agree. It had its good points, its quality, there was good acting performances, and the story was interesting, especially for people who like Mary Poppins. However, there's a lot of gray area in terms of the truth. Whether you think that's important or not, there definitely was liberties they took. And ultimately, they felt uneven parts, and there were certain parts that elicited strong emotional response that ultimately may have negatively hurt the film. Couldn't have said it about you myself. No, you couldn't have. You didn't even say that <laughs> sentence right. <laughs>